Hi, my name is Markus Müller. I'm a solution architect in the area of enterprise integration with CBS Corporate Business Solutions. Here today with me is Simon Dietz, a, a senior consultant also in the area of enterprise integration and an expert in integration suite and EDI. And with his help today, I want to uh, see if we can explain you how we can use integration suite and integration advisor for classical EDI business. Hi, Simon. Hi, Markus. Thanks. First of all, can you tell me why do we actually need to talk about EDI with Integration Suite? Yeah, sure. Well, as you might know, Markus, um, SAP's roadmap is focusing more and more on cloud services, uh, especially in the integration environment. And when you think about SAP PO as on-premise middleware, then this is out of maintenance starting in 2027 and 2030 with extended maintenance. So it's a good starting point with your external partners to, uh, to get into the cloud integration. Okay. Um, when we think about integration suite and EDI, is there one single path to go or are there different options? Well, Markus, it might look like this in the first place, but when you have a closer look at the integration advisor and what you can do with it, and if you have a closer look at the CPI only, then um, it really depends on if you want to use integration advisor fully or not. Okay, integration advisor. So is this a new tool with SAP? Can you tell me what integration advisor is and what it does? Yes, uh, Integration Advisor is part of SAP's integration suite and it is especially designed to, um, to help you with your EDI mappings, with your EDI documentation and to bring your partners into uh, your system and integrate them there. So Integration Advisor comes with all the data structures you need for the integration with your partners, especially X12, Edifact, CXML and uh, so on. It also brings you a mapping editor where you can uh, develop your mappings with your partner and then create an, yeah, let's say guideline out of that mapping. Uh, one special thing for the mapping editor is that it is uh, based on AI proposals. So it uh, helps you to get a good starting point with your mapping. Okay, and where are those AI uh, proposals coming from? Uh, they are coming from uh, other companies that have um, integrated or have published their mappings there. This is anonymous, nobody knows which company proposed what and uploaded what there, but it's they are feeding the AI and then you can get the proposals from, from others. This is always depending on which company, data structures, message types you're exchanging. Okay, that sounds awesome. So. Now, if I have two or two ways to go to do it with uh, CPI or with Integration Advisor, how do I come to the decision if I use it or, or the, if I use Integration Advisor or simply go with CPI? Well, in my opinion, um, it really depends on the project you're doing. Um, when you're having a migration, for example, you're coming from SAP PO, um, and you have there all your mappings and uh, partners, then um, you usually would go without integration advisor. So you just you can import your mappings into CPI and then reuse them there. As you might know, um, the most part or the most time that is in EDI projects is consumed by the development of your mapping and the testing and the whole testing process with your partner. When you can import the mappings from PO to CPI, uh, then you don't have any redevelopment or retesting. On the other side, um, when you use Integration Advisor, this comes with its own mapping development tool. So it's better maybe if you, let's say, start with new partners or if you're really starting from scratch with EDI. But um, when you're uh, coming from PO and want to go to Integration Advisor, you would have to redevelop all your mappings. Okay, and is integration uh, advisor, let's say for an SAP integration expert, is it a plug and play tool that you can use directly or is there something you need to learn in order to, to do it right? Well, it comes with the integration suite. So when you have the integration suite, you can use it technically. But uh, of course, you have to learn another tool, another mapping tool, how integration advisor works or not. So maybe then when you're coming from PO, you have two tools to learn the CPI and the integration advisor. 
Um, this really depends a bit on if you want to go with it or not, and maybe also your, um, your project. Um, but um, as you are already familiar with the processes, um, the data structures and how things work in the EDI world, then I don't think you will have a uh, hard start. It's easy to learn, I would say, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe one more thing to add. Um, even if you go without integration advisor and choose to go with CPI only, you still need an integration advisor to extract your data formats from, from there because that's the only point where you can, where you can get them. Okay. Wow. Thanks, Simon, for the insights. You're welcome, Marcus. So an interesting topic. If you want to learn more about EDI with Integration Suite, just look in the contact slides, contact us, contact Simon or myself, and we will figure out with you your requirements and how CBS can help you with your next EDI project with Integration Suite. Thanks and stay safe. Thank you.